The doctor will see you now. One of the most important things when learning French is to apply what you've learned to real life situations. Together, we are going to learn how to communicate with the doctor in French. You never know, you might need it one day. So, you're going to the doctors, or in French, we say chez le docteur ou la docteur ou médecin généraliste. These doctors can be found in a medical center. In French, un cabinet médical. First of all, the doctor will ask you something like « Qu'est-ce qui ne va pas aujourd'hui ?» ou « Comment puis-je vous aider ?»« So what's wrong today ?»« How can I help you ?» Let's say that you are feeling a little bit under the weather and you want to describe your symptoms. These are some of the common things you'll want to reply. For example, « Je ne me sens pas bien » which means « I am not feeling » Very well. So, sentir is to feel. And if you put it in the negation, je sens pas. However, reflect it back to you, je ne me sens pas bien. I'm not feeling very well. You could say that you have fever. In that case, you would say, j'ai de la fièvre. J'ai de la fièvre. You might want to say, I cough a lot. Je tousse. Beaucoup, or I am coughing, je tousse, that comes from the verb tousser. But you could also say, I'm feeling nauseous. J'ai la nausée, j'ai la nausée. You may want to say that you have a stuffy nose, and <laughs> you would say, j'ai le nez bouché, j'ai le nez bouché. Or you want to say that you're sneezing a lot, j'éternue comes from éternuer, the verb to sneeze. So you could say, j'éternue tout le temps. I am sneezing all the time, or I sneeze all the time. So if you wanted to say that you're feeling achy, you would say, j'ai des courbatures. J'ai des courbatures. What's very useful is knowing how to say, I am struggling with. I'm struggling with walking or with Breathing, or I'm struggling to walk or to breathe, for example, you would say, j'ai du mal à marcher, if it was walking. So, I am struggling with that. J'ai du mal à, and then you add the verb. J'ai du mal à respirer, to breathe. J'ai du mal à voir, to see, for example. In French, to say that something is hurting, we use avoir, okay? So, conjugated, j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. And then we add mal. And then we would add à la, au, au, depending on the gender of the words that follow. For example, if you wanted to tell me that you have a sore back, that your back hurts, we would say, j'ai, mal au dos. Now, it literally means I have an ache at my back, okay? But that's the way we say I ache, j'ai mal, and then au because do is masculine. It would be à la if the part of the body was feminine. So you want to say you have a sore foot or sore feet, let's put a, a plural here, you would say tu as mal au for example, tu as mal au pied. You have sore feet. And again, if you wanted to say I have sore feet, you would say j'ai mal au pied. Have a look at au, A-U-X, because it's plural, because pied is plural. If you wanted to say I have a belly ache, you would say again j'ai mal, and then au ou à la ou au, and then ventre. In that case, it's au ventre, because ventre is masculine. You have a sore leg, you would say, j'ai mal à la jambe. Or he has a sore leg, then you need to conjugate avoir, you would say, il a mal à la jambe. And the same with toothache. So, try to figure this one out using I have, 
j'ai, and then mal. If you're using only one tooth, you say à la dent, because it's feminine singular. But more than one tooth, you would say aux dents, A-U-X. She has a toothache, elle a mal à la dent, or aux dents. Of course, if you do not know the part of the body, I have done a video for you on the part of the body. The link is in the description below. I would like to play a game with you. Look at this picture and look at the arrow. Have a look at that. Oh, there. Not sure where it's going to be. Okay. Can you tell me where it hurts? Can you make a sentence using what we've just used? J'ai mal and then the preposition. So, start with j'ai mal. Où as-tu mal? Where does it hurt? J'ai mal. Have a look at that. À la tête. Bravo, well done. So la tête is the head. J'ai mal à la tête. My head hurts, or I have a headache. And now look at the arrow again. Où avez-vous mal? Can you tell me where it hurts? J'ai mal à la gorge. J'ai mal à la gorge. La gorge is throat and it's feminine, so we say à la Gorge. And to finish, what about this one? Où avez-vous mal? J'ai mal au ventre. I have a belly ache or a tummy ache. J'ai mal au ventre. Now, all these symptoms sound like la grippe, which is the flu, or is it just un rhume, a cold? Another type of situation you might encounter is when you hurt yourself. In that case, we're using the reflexive. Let's have a look at this one. Je me suis fait mal. Now, the reflexive is se faire mal, to hurt oneself. So put it in the passé composé. You want to say to me, I've just hurt myself. Je me suis fait mal. And the same for I cut myself. Je me suis coupé. Oh, I'm bleeding. Je saigne. Je suis tombé. I fell down. However, if you want to say, I think I sprained or broke my ankle, you would use a reflexive again here. Je pense que je me suis foulé ou cassé la cheville. Je pense que je me suis foulé ou cassé la cheville. Now, these phrases use the reflexive form, so if you're unsure how to conjugate them, have a look at my videos in the description below on reflexive verbs. After showing the doctor where it hurts, he or she will examine you. Elle va vous examiner ou vous ausculter. At the end of this auscultation, he or she may write an ordonnance, so which is a prescription. By the way, if it's something serious, you should definitely go to the emergency room or call Les Urgences by dialing this number 112 or 112 if you're in France. Et l'ambulance viendra vous chercher. If you dial 15, 15, you will get to the SAMU service, service d'aide médicale d'urgence ou 18 pour les pompiers, which is the fireman. Oh, and one more thing, the doctor or the pharmacist, le pharmacien ou la pharmacienne, for that matter, might also ask you for la carte vitale. It is the card you get once you are registered in the French health system, la sécurité sociale. Going to the doctor is not completely free in France, so if you have the card, you will usually pay your consultation and then get part of it reimbursed, around 70% of it. If not, consultation itself is 25 euros or 25 euros. If you need to revise the parts of the body, click on this video and to listen to a dialogue or someone booking a doctor's appointment, watch this video dialogue. This will help you a lot. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous. I think I need to call the doctor.